Welcome everybody, it's Mario Man 2100 back again with a first impressions video and it's time for Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, this is a game that I wasn't really too interested in. Um, change it, thank god. Uh, but yeah, um, this is a game that realistically I haven't um, done too much for. Like, I wasn't really too interested. Yeah, I, I remember playing the original Xenoblade Chronicles and wasn't really too interested in the, uh, the playstyle of the RPG itself. And the story wasn't too bad from the start, but realistically I only played like about an hour or two of Xenoblade Chronicles and not really liked the, the battle system mainly was the thing that I didn't really too enjoy too much. Uh, I don't know about this game, uh, the only thing I really you know, know about is the trailers for this, but uh, that's about it. I hear the game is, in some capacity, isn't as good as Xenoblade 1. Um, some people say it's better than that, some people say it's worse than that, so ultimately where I'm going to sit with this game, I've got no idea. This is more a MMO style um, uh, battle system and, and game in general in terms of character design and stuff uh, from what I hear so I've only seen the game kind of a little bit in action before but not like you know like really any story elements too much or anything like that it's not a game that I've been interested in I've already got uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as well uh, I haven't even played that yet but I, I wanted to play this first to see how this was, and then give Xenoblade Chronicles 2 later on in first impressions to see what I feel. But I don't know, actually, is that the right fucking. <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of like it's like 7 o'clock at night as I'm recording this, and uh, it's, it's winter now, so it's getting pretty dark, and like that white screen really fucking came out of nowhere and hurt my eyes. <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> Uh, so realistically, I've only really seen part of this scene as well, I believe. This was in the original trailers for the game, uh, when it was then known as X. Uh, that was the uh, project's name, I believe. It was just X, but then it just got the, uh, the Xenoblade Chronicles uh, moniker afterwards and just kept the X. <laughs> it was like, yeah. And originally I thought it was like, what, Xenoblade Chronicles 10? But no, a completely different sub-series of Xenoblade games. So I expect maybe the next Xenoblade game after they do Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and it's a uh, new game plus and extra DLC uh, story content. Um, we'll probably do an X2, because I think X, uh, this game, I think I've heard, ends on a cliffhanger. So, ultimately a lot of people thought before Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out that this game was actually going to get the sequel first, and then, um, you know, a new game would come after that. But, uh, they seriously thought that this was the a sequel. The White Whale. White Whale, okay. It's a weird name for a ship, first off, but uh, obviously if it was designed like the whale, like that, yeah, okay. We spent years wandering in space, searching. We thought of ourselves as the lucky ones, the pioneers who would settle in the world. But our past caught up with us. Literally. When you, when you get really slow, when you go really slow, that's gonna happen. Not for the efforts of a lone hero, we would never have survived. Our ship took heavy damage. We lost control. 
with our flight systems down. The white whale was pulled into the gravitational field of a nearby planet. Its hull shattering and breaking to pieces as we plummeted toward the surface. Now, I'm not sure how connected this is to the original Xenoblade. Like, I, like I, I, I think I believe this is a, a, a sub-series in, in some ways. Like, it's a different continuity uh, to Xenoblade Since Chronicles 1. Two months have passed. So ultimately it's like it's a completely different, you know, time period, different story, different worlds, that sort of thing. Um, so I don't know how connected these two games are. But yeah, I'll be interested to see what they do for a Xenoblade Chronicles X2. Uh, so. Male, female. Well, male does more very nice. So I'm actually going to say female. So yeah, character customization. Uh, this was something that they really did harp on uh, back with this game. I don't like that one. That one's pretty good. So actually, I will take that one. Oh, that's the background. Uh, so the skin color is fine. Hey, yeah, there we go with some slight freckles. I like that. Shading. Get that one. No scars. Get that off the field. No, no miles either. Go into here. Which I thought we already decided on, but anyway. with the colours, can't we? <laughs> uh, let's go with blue. I don't mind that as an idea. <laughs> we'll say. So that one look, just looks like a robot eye in some capacity. That one, this one. That one I'll take. Green eyes are going to complement it pretty well. It's gonna be clear, but I don't have to get rid of another color. Oh, it actually gives you the, the, the voice actresses' names in that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, fish. Okay. I was going to say, I might end this is what I that, but... So I think, yeah, you can create your own character in this rather than, like, Xenoblade. Chronicles 1 and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 with their, their separate uh, protagonists of the game uh, in Shulk and I believe Rex is in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 I believe is the main character 
uh, main character's name, I believe. Uh, it's Shulk definitely from Xenoblade 1, I know that, because Smash, Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Once you become a playable character in that, it's like very obvious. And then this was the start of the uh, second trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles. When they actually got the Xenoblade Chronicles X name, uh, that was the start. And then we got uh, the battling sequence. Fire. <laughs> no. I was gonna say, wait, are we in a hospital? <laughs> are we in a medical bay? Like, what the fuck happened? Releasing hatch. Please stand clear. Ah, I'm alive. As my character is doing exactly the same thing. Hey there. Looks like you're all in one piece. My eyes are not adjusted, so my vision is very blurry. <laughs> but, uh. So, this is one of the main characters, Elma. Can't remember if we get a last name. I think it's at least just Elma. Careful. Just take it nice and slow, okay? Your senses will need time to reactivate. Wait, are we a robot? Or are we are actually a human being. Oh, I don't know. Especially with these games, you can't tell half the time. Because <laughs> if you ever look at someone like. Uh, Your pod is the only one around that landed intact. Like, uh. Good thing I found you. Alyssa. My name's Elma. I think if in you want to tell Tekken. Yours? You don't even remember your own name? It must be the stasis hangover. Well, maybe. That's not good. Just try and focus, all right? <laughs> uh, what should we go with? Hmm. It's gonna be tough in itself to find out to think of a name. Yeah. Yeah. That old Lucy. You know. This <laughs> is I'm not really good with extravagant names. What else do you remember? So what else do you remember is the is the sen is the question. It's, it's the sentence. That's what the sentence is supposed to be, not. Can you move? We'll take it easy while you shake the stasis out of your system. One step at a time, alright? First things first. You'll be needing a weapon. What? Why? There you go. Alright, let's get going. It's like, I'm only just getting minimal movement at the moment. You give me a weapon already? Why? What the fuck? <laughs> Take a moment to check the minimap. If you have a stump, follow the yellow arrow. Should we wait for it on an occasional excursion off the beaten path? Never hurts. You know what they say, all work and no play after all. Primordia. I believe that's what the world's name is. So then let's go this direction. Oh, okay, so we can actually we can actually jump. Most of the white whale's life pods didn't survive the crash, like this one. 
You're one of the lucky few. Wait, so have they been looking for a couple of months to find all these pods? Right. Like, they still... You don't even remember the White Whale, do you? You know, the L002? The ship we escaped Earth on? You remember Earth, right? Planet Earth. Your homeworld. Or rather, it used to be, anyway. You want that what? Unfortunately. <laughs> It was caught in a battle between two alien forces. Oh, lip flap. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, Kingdom Hearts, I give, I like, like, I'm a fan of Kingdom Hearts, but even I give Kingdom Hearts, like, the lip flap thing is really bad, and thank god, I think most of that is Kingdom gone Hearts. with Kingdom Hearts 3. Thank god. But. Seeing it here in a game that came out in what, like 2014, 2015? I believe this game originally came out from memory. I know. It might have been 2015. It's been yeah, it's 2015. You would think that lip flap wouldn't be a thing, but okay. Okay. So let's see the battle system. So we're going right in. And we're using guns and stuff as weapons. So target is R, and then. Drawing a weapon. So I think you're supposed to do it. And the battle system is still not really that great, to be fair. I know that's only one battle, but at the same time... I don't know. You're not half bad. It didn't like it didn't feel nice. I had to get I didn't actually work it out because I was press I pressed R and then I thought you had to hold down. Then you're interested. In that case, I might have just the job. And I thought you had to hold it down and then press A, but it it, it said because the way that it says it's just that just press tar like target and then press A. So I was doing that and it wasn't doing a thing. Yeah, so that was really, really weird. Let's go for a Obviously, over time, it might break down, but at the same time. Yeah. So treasure. More treasure. Get a little stronger. So yeah, so the battle system is a little bit still still questionable. I've I put Natural, I will say. Here we 
I don't really want to too much to more buttons, button commands, let's say. So yeah, I think that's something that carries over to uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, is actually blades actually are more use there. So, yeah, I'm not sure about this game, to be honest. I'm really questioning a lot of things about it, to be honest. Alright, smashing, smashing, gotta mash A. Gotta mash A. God damn it. Don't like that. That's that's something that, that shouldn't be a thing. No, oh, we can have we have swimming uh, swimming animations. Well, that's cool. I like that. That's cool. Sometimes you don't get that. You just get the walking through water. I thought it might have been uh, high enough to walk, but apparently not. <laughs> Uh, physical resistance up, so if it's an attack, I think it might be like the resistance of an attack. A physical attack, because I think that I'm sure there would be like magic users and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's really broad. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Like, realistically, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Because I think that this game could be good. But, I am really not liking the battle system. So, and half the time it's not being too responsive either. Which doesn't help. The rain's starting to let up, just in time for sunrise. Follow me. I promise you're gonna love this. Yeah, so they're having lip flap in like normal cutscenes as well. That's a bit, it's a bit odd, we'll say. Like where is all this fog going? Is the is this? I was gonna say a space station, but it's like the, the, as you can tell, United States. <laughs> is it just getting sucked into the city, or what? what what's the what's, what's the thing here? What's, what's going on there? That's really cool. So there's a lot of the monster designs and stuff are cool. It's just uh, wild, huh? And that's not me doing that. They're either. all indigenous, as far as we can tell. We need to learn to play nice with these guys if we're going to try and coexist together. And her hair is phasing in through a gun again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why do games do that? <laughs> I mean, things like Street Fighter and Tekken and and things and games like that. They even bayoneted to an extent as well. 
have the same problem, but really wish games would not do that. It kind of, kind of puts me out of it a little bit, to be fair. But yeah, no, this, this, like the graphics look great. I mean, this is a Wii U title, so that, that that's saying something in some capacity. <laughs> but it looks good. We can give it that, but. We call this planet Mira. Mira, that's right. I don't remember you that, I remember find that the much. Star Wait, why? But it's our new home. Because we haven't got a star chart on us, or what's the deal there? Okay. <laughs> but I believe this this city area is called New Earth. I believe. Watch yourself. That first step's a doozy. We can jump if you like. You can handle the fall. But the indigens down there are another story. Some big, some mean, all nasty. Given our options, the high road here would be the safer way to go, relatively speaking. So it gives you multiple options. I do like that. I like That's that. Safe. Whichever way you want to go, I'll follow your lead. You decide. And actually, I don't think we will, because I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> so you can toggle sprint, and we can do auto run as well. That's good. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. So what do we think of Xenoblade Chronicles X? I think that the graphics and, and gameplay is really good. Uh, the battle system is still something that I need to get used to because Xenoblade 1 didn't really phase me too much with the battle system. I didn't really like it in that game. So I gave it, I gave it more of a shot after I did the video, but it didn't really hold me over too much. Even though I played like a couple of hours of the game. Uh, and so far this is giving me the same type of impressions, in fact, actually, I think it might actually be worse than, than Xenoblade Chronicles 1, because I am actually, I think I'm more used to the battle system, like I haven't actually, you know, played too much, uh, I, I, this has been a long time since I played Xenoblade Chronicles, but I've actually worked out a little bit better, uh, what, how Xenoblade actually works with some of its stuff, and even then it's still a little bit unresponsive in this game, so that's something to be worry about. Um, so we'll see how we go with this game, but it's it's not really, like the graphics and music and, and designs and stuff are, are good, but that's not going to hold me in a game for very long if the, if the gameplay is not that great. Um, and especially when it comes to an RPG with the battle system, the battle system is one of the most important parts of the game. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. Um, so with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this first impressions video of Xenoblade Chronicles X from the Nintendo Wii U. This has been Mario Mentor 100, you guys have a great day and night, and of course, take care.